Here we are with some increasingly difficult Hess's Law practice. They want us to calculate a delta H for the formation of silver oxide, and they haven't given us the reaction this time, so we get to write that. We get to set our own goal here. Well, we're forming silver oxide, so we must have a reaction that produces a G2O. That's simple enough. And formation reactions are always from pure elements, so on this side we would have to have silver, and we would have to have oxygen, and proper reactions are balanced, so to balance this, if we have O2, we have to double this side to get our oxygen sorted, but that means we have four silver, so we need a four over here. So this thing is our objective. We must build it, and then we must determine what its delta H is. So let's try our hand at this. Well, first thing, we need four moles of silver on the left-hand side, and there's only one reaction that can help us with that right there. Let me number these reactions before we start making a mess. Reaction one, reaction two, reaction three, reaction four. Okay, so we need four times reaction two. That's the only way to get our silver. Four times reaction two. That gives us four silver plus uh, four times a half is two chlorine arrow. We get four silver chloride. And for our delta H, four times that is uh, 254, 508. Minus 508.0. Okay. That takes care of our silver. What's next? We need one mole of oxygen and no, 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 yeah. Reaction four is the only one that offers us any oxygen. If we take this and double it, that'll give us the one mole of oxygen we require. Two times reaction four. Uh, that gives us two hydrogen. That's not good. I our finished reaction isn't supposed to have hydrogen in it at all, so we're going to have to do something to cancel this. Uh, let's see, so double the hydrogen, double the oxygen. That gives us an O2 here. And on the other side of the arrow we have two water. And our reaction's not supposed to include water either, so we're picking up some unwanted stuff as we do this. But we had to have the oxygen, so we pretty much didn't have a choice. We had to do this step. Don't don't doubt that this is right. Just uh, anticipate there's going to be work, more work coming up ahead to clean up the mess. And if we double reaction four, we have to double this. That's minus 571.8. There we go. Okay. We need two moles of silver oxide on the right side. And... Reaction 1 is the only one that can give us that. We need to flip this reaction to get the silver oxide to the right, and also we must double it. So I'm going to put minus 2 times reaction 1. The minus means flip, the 2 means double. And so what does that give us? We double this and we get 4 silver chloride. Uh, this flips over and becomes 2H2O. Arrow. Uh, this flips to the right side, it becomes 2AG2O. And this flips to the other side and becomes 4HCl. And if we flipped reaction 1 and doubled it, then we must flip this and double it too. So that's going to come out to positive 649.4. So, how are we doing so far? Let's see what we can cancel. Four silver chloride, we'll cancel there. Uh, is that it? Oh, and the water drops out. 
Okay, that's good, but it's not enough. We still have hydrogen hanging around and chlorine hanging around and hydrogen chloride gas hanging around over here. So definitely still more work to do. And hey, look at this. There's another reaction. Hopefully this can save us from ourselves here. We need, let's see, how do we do this? I would say we need to cancel four HCLs here. This is not how we normally think of it. We're normally thinking about adding stuff. But in this case, our reaction doesn't have HCl, and so this must go. And it would go if we had four HCls on the left. So let's make that happen. I'll change colors for this because it's a slightly different thing we're doing, or we have a different purpose in doing this. We're going to take reaction three and flip it and quadruple it. Because if we do that, we get four HCLs on the left. And I want four HCLs on the left because these will cancel these. And I fervently hope we'll also cancel the hydrogen and the chlorine when we do this. Okay, so flip and multiply by four, that's done. Flip the hydrogen to the right and multiply it by four, that gives us two hydrogens. Take the chlorine, flip it to the right, multiply it by four, that gives us two chlorines. And if we're taking this reaction, flipping and quadrupling it, we must do that to the delta H as well. So flip this, you get plus 92.3, quadruple, you get 369.2, if I'm not mistaken. And that's positive, I'll make that explicit. Okay, so now if we add these up, uh, the hydrogen, two hydrogen there, cancels. Two chlorine, cancels, that's good. Four hydrogen chloride, cancels. And so all that remains is four silver and an oxygen molecule produces two silver chloride, sorry, silver oxide, and a delta H of, out come the calculators, negative 508 minus 571.8 plus 649.4 plus 369.2. And we get minus 61.8. Two kilojoules. Now, if you have access to the key for this or the uh, the solution that's given at the bottom of the question, you're probably looking at it right now and noticing that it says 30.6. That is consistent with what with what we have. Do you see why? Here's the thing. This reaction, as written, produces two moles of silver oxide. And it's saying two moles of this will cost you 61.2 kilojoules. Well, if we wanted just a single mole of silver oxide, we would have to make a small tweak here. We'd have to say, if it's 61.2 kilojoules for two moles of silver oxide, and 61 divided by 2 comes out to 30.6, sorry, negative 30.6 kilojoules per mole. So if they just said the enthalpy for the reaction where silver oxide is formed, we could leave it like this and be okay. But they said a molar enthalpy. That means they don't want the total amount or anything like that. They want, how much is it going to cost me to make one mole of silver oxide? When that happens, you must be specific, and you must say it's this many kilojoules for a single mole. And you can tell if you've done that by what the units are. This just says kilojoules, meaning it's kilojoules for this whole reaction. This one is saying kilojoules for an individual mole. And in this question, that's the one they wanted.